This is gonna be sent to me on Snapchat, I just know it. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today I have the John Deere 7600 hooked up to the Rhino 4155. So, uh, the mower has not left the farm yet, so therefore we're gonna utilize it. Um, I'm out here by the highway at the main farm where we had gone through and did some of the first harvesting. So, uh, I'm gonna take the 4155 around and I'm gonna mow down all these stalks. Now, we are intending to come through and break all this up and then bale it. So, we use corn fodder for our bedding. Uh, a lot of people have asked me why we don't use soybean fodder. Um, we've never really tried soybean fodder, but we've always just kind of stuck with corn fodder because we've heard some kind of like terror stories about using soybean fodder about how bad it is for the soil. But um, anyway, the stalks out here are actually fairly dry, I guess, now that the sun has been out and gone back under. But we're gonna try to mow all these off as much as we can. The reason we wanna come through and we actually mow the stalks down instead of just coming through and raking it all up is that using the mower to chop up these stalks, it helps them absorb, absorb moisture um, whenever they, the cattle you know, urinate on the fodder and um, it just kinda helps them soak up that moisture and keep, helps them keep them dry. So, what do you say we hop in the 7600? There's not too much out here, um, we basically just what we got done that first day. We're hoping that we can get back out into the field to harvest again in the morning. Um, but we have yet to see. They are calling for rain, which does look like it's over there. But um, if I go through and mow this, if it does get rained on, it won't hurt it too much. Um, it, and they aren't saying too much, so we're kind of positive that we'll be able to get out and do something tomorrow. But we'll just have to see. So, let's head out, shall we? Travis made the smart comment of saying that he wasn't sure if he wanted to get his 7600 dirty with all corn dust. But I see that the birds already took care of that for me. Before we get started, I just wanted to kind of address some concerns that we've had in the past about the PTO shafts not spinning on the mower. So this mower is equipped with three different PTO shafts, one being directly from the tractor to the first gearbox. There's actually a gearbox right there that splits off and um, it goes off to the wings. Now, people were wondering have, and have seen in previous videos that these don't always spin. And the reason for that being is because these spin independently of the actual shafts. These are just the PTO guards. If you grab them, you should be able to twist them. Rhino follows a policy of not chaining up their PTO guards because it reduces the amount of wear on the bearings that the shaft, shaft guards ride on. And by reducing that amount of wear they have in there, uh, the PTO guard is less likely to fail and a uh, farmer is less likely to have to replace it. Now, if you want to get chains and you want to put them on, I mean, uh, you can be more than welcome to. They have the places where you can, can hook them up if you feel that's safer. Uh, I don't really feel that it's a good idea to have PTO shaft guards that don't spin just because of, in cases like my grain cart, where you can't even hear if the grain cart is running. Uh, it runs so quietly. But it's just kind of a visual cue that the machine is on and it is running and it helps you know, you know, stay away from the machine. So that is why sometimes you'll see that one of these shafts isn't spinning when the other one is. So without further ado, let's get started.
Looks like we better go air hose the mower back off, shouldn't we? <laughs> Let's have a look at what we've mulched up. So, there's definitely moisture in that yet. So, by grinding this up, hopefully we can release more of the moisture. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the wind picks back up. But um, it does a really good job at grinding up the stalks. And um, this is what we like to see because this is what absorbs the most moisture. With that, um, I'm going to go take this back up there. Uh, they were saying it was supposed to rain, but it's looked dark the entire time I've been working. And I got a little bit of a sprinkle, but other than that, haven't gotten anything. So I'm kind of optimistic for getting out in the field again tomorrow and start harvesting. As you can probably tell, we have quite a bit left here. So anyway, let's go back up and air hose that off. Well, that should be just about all for today. Uh, we cut everything that we have harvested so far, but we're gonna have to cut so much more because we need to make a couple hundred uh, fodder bales for this winter to get the cows through. And um, yeah, this is just kinda, to kinda keep us up to date because last year we were kinda behind as far as when we got the fodder bales made. And uh, going through and cutting it now will help it dry out, air out, and um, it's just, leaving it out like it was the stalks were st still had a lot of moisture in them so by cutting them like that uh helps air it out and that way hopefully it'll make better bedding so with that uh be sure to stay tuned probably another harvesting video because i think we are on for tomorrow so anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow with that um i'll let you all go thank you for watching this video be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment subscribe and be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and with that we'll see you next time